on this computer. And I'm going to share my screen so that Matt can actually see. So we're in the minor prophets, and we're looking at Amos, who is the oldest, or one of the oldest. I, I label him the oldest. Um, remember, he's, excuse me, he's actually 760 is when they think he is, right around here. That's when the earthquake was. Um, the Assyria is stretching its legs. It's getting bigger. These are big time people. I'll blow it up so we can actually see it. Chalmaneth of the fourth, um, Tiglath Pileser of the third. These are all pretty famous Assyrian kings, especially Tiglath Pileser of the third. Um, but in our time frame, we're actually up here in Asher Dyer uh, in this time period. But the things are about to fall apart. You can see. Israel's going to cease to exist in 40 years. That's not very long. Um, the prophecy itself um, the 12 minor prophets were assembled into a book that we call the Book of the Twelve. And it has a, uh, each of them has an introduction telling us where, which we saw last time, in the days of Uzziah and in the days of Jeroboam. When there's two kings, they're going to locate them in both of them. Makes it easier to put them down. Now, Amos begins with what we call oracles against the nations. Um, this is a literary form that we will see more than once in the prophets. And these are oracles against the surrounding nations. God, being creator of the universe, asserts his authority over the surrounding nations and pronounces judgment on them. So let's read some of this. Um, Kenny, would you start in verse two, please? And he said, the Lord roars from Zion and utters his voice from Jerusalem. Now, where's Zion? That's exactly right. It's the Temple Mount. Okay, go ahead. The pastures of the shepherds mourn and the top of Carmel was withered. You know where Carmel is? Well, here's Israel, right? This is Mount Carmel. And it, it sticks out into the sea. Uh, Megiddo's on the side of it. It's... Uh, part of Israel, not Judah. The border, remember, is right at Jerusalem. The end of the northern of the Dead Sea is where the border is. You can remember that. Border of this. That is where Judah, Israel, to north. And Jerusalem is right on that border. It's, uh, it was in neither territory, and David took it for his own made it the capital country and stayed that and there to this day of course so Carmel this is going to be 
lots of orchards and stuff up here. So this is good ground, if you will, agriculturally speaking. And he's talking about this. Judgment is coming. All right, continue, please. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus and for four, I will not revoke the punishment because uh, they have threshed Gilead with threshing sledges of iron. So I will send a fire upon the house of Hazael, and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben Hadad. His name is Hazael Ben Hadad. So it's splitting up his name to get parallelism. I'm going to zap him. In case you don't know, Damascus is the capital of Syria. By the way, to this day. There it is. Damascus. Back out a little bit. And he's sending judgment. And it's on the shore to the desert. You get beyond Damascus, you're dealing with. There's no dots out here. No dots, that's your clue. Desert. Yeah. All right. I will break the gate bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitants from the valley of Aben. And him who holds the scepter from Beth Eden and the people of Syria shall go in, into exile to Kerr, says the Lord. Okay. So Damascus judgment. Okay, Syria. Brooke, why don't you pick up the six? Thus says the Lord, the three transgressions of Gaza and four I will not be able to punish. Well, that's pertinent for today, I guess. And if you don't know where Gaza is, it's down here. This is Philistia. The five Philistine cities are Ekron, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gaza, and uh, I want to say Gerar, but they're right here. And this is the Gaza Strip today. It's not very big. But this is, remember, the Philistines were displaced Greeks, and they settled here. And they settled here about 1200 BC, 1175 to be precise, whereabouts. And we're 500 years later. 600 years later. So, um, a lot's transpired. They're still descendants of Greeks, but they're thoroughly intermarried with the Canaanites. Uh, they're distinct people, but still, there are issues. God, you are reading. Do you know where Edom is? Edom is here. Back when I just did like this. My word circle. The Edomites. In the New Testament, these are the Idumeans. Do you know there's a famous Idumean? Herod. Herod the Great's an Edomite. Means he's an Arab, essentially. Uh, but Edom is this pastoral sort of people. I mean, this is where Petra is. It's down in this area. Everything else. They have some cities, but it's not as developed as elsewhere, but they're a violent people. But here, Gaza has taken people and delivered them and sold them to the Edomites, in essence. So, verse 7. fire upon the wall of Gaza, and it shall devour their strongholds. I will cut off the inhabitants, inhabitants from Ashdod and him who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. 
I will turn my head, my hand against Ekron, and remember the Philistines shall perish, says the Lord God. You often get four or five. There are five Philistine cities named. It's way there. Mention so. Philistines, not good. You're getting yours. Verse nine, Miss Platt. Ms. Platt. Thus says the Lord, the three transgressions of Tyre. Where's Tyre? That is Lebanon. There's Tyre. Tyre and Sidon are the biggies. Modern Lebanon. These are the Phoenicians. Uh, a people who speak a language very close to Hebrew, very close to Canaanite. So they, they're kind of mutually intelligible, but they're distinct languages. And uh, world famous seafarers. I mean, they circumnavigated Africa on their little ships. And they, Carthage, near the city of Carthage, that's a Phoenician city. Because they went all around the Mediterranean and established colonies and, in fact, made it out of the Straits of Gibraltar. Oh, my map doesn't go any further to the left. Well, you remember what the Mediterranean looks like. So they made it out and uh, they may have even made it to the north. American continent and stuff. So the Phoenicians are quite good. But Hannibal is Hannibal. Baal is gracious. That's what his name means. He's a Phoenician or Carthaginian general with his elephants. That's what he's famous for. But anyway, Tyre, Sidon, the Phoenicians are a powerful people. Tyre is a little tiny place. It's an island. Now at this time it's still an island. But when Alexander comes in 300 BC <laughs> he's going to the Tyrians are going to thumb their nose at him. Say like, come and get us if you can. Nobody can take us. And Alexander looked at his journal and they filled in the ocean with buckets and attach the island of Tyre to the mainland. And to this day, it's now a peninsula and not an island. And they conquered Tyre. And so you don't, you, they, people learned a lesson. You don't thumb your nose at Alexander. What's it say? What? Are you saying it's not going up there? Yes. Matt, are you still there? Matt, are you still? Apparently not. No, I can see you and hear you. Matt. Okay. What can you see? Uh, I mean, I can still see the map and you. Hey. Well, we don't care if they can see it. <laughs> ah. So, back on the ranch. So, Tyre's going to, who's reading this? Read it. And for four, I will not provoke the punishment. Revoke. Revoke the punishment. Because they delivered up the whole people to Enoch and did not remember the covenant of brotherhood. So I will send a fire upon the ball of Tyre and it will and it shall devour her strongholds. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll be back in a second. Why does it not breathe in this Well, yeah. yeah. So, Oh, don't we? 
Now, are you guys all, do you have just Monday and Tuesday, or do you have no and Wednesday? Like, so the point yet. When does your break start? Right. No, it's start. Because our babies mm -hmm. can only get two chances. We need to have it noon so that they have the whole rest of the day to study. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our finals <laughs> will do seventh hour final Monday and then a short rest of the day. And then Tuesday we do first and second, Wednesday we do third and fourth, and Thursday we do fifth and fourth. But we don't get to do it. Right, of course. So you have like you do you um right. 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 Well we have a Christmas party one day. Yeah. And we have the 18th and 19th, mm -hmm. but we don't have, I mean, 4 30, we don't have finals, but we have to be there the whole day. Like, we don't have, we're not going to have our Christmas parties those days. So it's just, mm -hmm. we have to be there the whole day because the elementary has to play there. So mm -hmm. Oh. oh, no, no, no. They look the hard can't go out. They would have early release of the final, so they're done at noon. And then in Richmond, or if they pay tenor for whatever, they get to wait at noon. But it's only third, fourth, fifth, and sixth that are have to stay there. Oh, they have to be there to everybody because since the elementary did all day, high school, they have to be all day. Although, secondary, elementary, is after we start in August. So. Back to the Bible. And these oracles against the nations. Okay, do uh, eat them, Josh. Thus says the Lord. Three transgressions of Edom and four. It's explaining basically the one. I will not revoke, I will not revoke the punishment because he pursues his brother with sword and cast off all his enemies. And his anger tore, perpe tore perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. I will send a fire upon ten men. Amen. Amen. I shall devour the strongholds of both. Swa. Both. Swa. So down here. Get the Edomites. So, Syria, Gaza, Tyre, Edom. He's kind of doing this crisscross pattern around the area and for selling whole populations to eat them eat them i'll get because they're selling them to somebody else um janie do you mind reading is it big enough Thus says the Lord for three transgressions of the Ammonites and for four, I will not revoke the punishment because they have ripped open pregnant women in Gilead, that they might enlarge their border. So I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabah, and it shall devour her strongholds with shouting on the day of battle, with a tempest in the day of the world, and their king shall go into exile. He and his princess together, says the Lord. All right. Ammonites, it's just the name for all these people over here. The Edomites, the Phoenicians, they're all Ammonites. It's a generic term. And he's saying, I'm getting all of y'all. She anticipated. <laughs> Well, it's not this one. 
because it would be over here where the ammonites are. So I don't know. This would be Israelite Rabbah. Rabbah just means many, you know, great or something like that. It's kind of a generic name. All right. We got another country to hit. Did you finish that, Janie? Yeah. What are you reading? Oh. Good for you. Would you read for us? Yes. I don't ever call him. I said the Lord, for three transgressions of Moab, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because he burned to lime the bones of the king of Edom. So I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the strongholds of Cariot. And Moab shall die amid uproar, amid the shouting and the sound of the trumpet. I will cut off the ruler from his midst, and will kill all his princes with him, says the Lord. Okay. Moab. The. I misspoke. I told you the Ammonites was a generic name. That's Amorites. The Ammonites are actually here. Look, there's Damascus, which is Syria. And then if you go down the eastern, on the Transjordan, on the other side of Jordan, you get the Ammonites, or even with the Jordan River. Moab is the top part of the Dead Sea. That wadi is usually their border. And below it is Edom. Edom, Moab, Ammon, up the east side. And so um, now he's doing Moab. And so all the surrounding nations, Canaan's in the middle, Philistines, Phoenicia. And those are the traditional enemies of Israel. And Moab's going to bite it. They're, um, well. Their transgression seemed to be against Edom, though, which I found interesting because Edom is a... Also, also been judged. So it's, what do you find? We're now moving to judgments on Judah. So what were the judgments about? On what basis was he judging them? Selling people, other people and catching and selling them. Sometimes for loading up and taking them off the Right. So, not being good neighbors, essentially. And hold, I mean, they're doing what people did in the ancient world. You know, governments have to have money to survive. That's, uh, and the government only have two places to get their money, from their people or from the other people. And what do you think their populations want them to do? Get it from the other people. Leave us alone. And so in the spring of the year when kings go out to war, it's that's why I have that's why you have war every spring. Because that's how they survived. And that's what you did in the ancient world. And God's holding them accountable. He said, no. You don't know, you remember what he said to Ty? You didn't remember the covenant of brotherhood? You're attacking Israel. They're your brothers. All of you guys are close. Why are you doing this? And then you're going to be judged. And this. You didn't hear that from, now you could violate covenants. That would be universally disclaimed. But um, this idea of attacking a neighbor as evil is, that's unique that Israel brings us up and judges them. So, it seemed to hit 
every bordering all of them that was going to be my question was there any there are none that were excluded from this no. but it doesn't seem to go beyond the contiguous he's not talking about egypt not talking about assyria he's talking about these guys that in the states talk about judah remember how the thing began Dad gum it. The word which he saw concerning Israel. And we haven't talked about Israel yet. So he's so he's building up to that. We've got to take care of Judah now. He's from Judah, prophesying to the north. Now, remember what's going on. There's a temple, because it's 700, it's hundreds of years after Solomon. There's the main temple in Jerusalem. But when the country divided, Israel had its temples in Bethel, Bethel, and in Dan. Here, at the, the borders, stream north, stream south of Israel, they had their borders, their their temples. And Bethel even means house of God. It's a place where there was a temple. But Israel's gone their own route. We can't be worshiping at the Judahite temple where Israel. So they go to theirs at Bethel. And this appears that Amos is at Bethel delivering his word. We haven't been told yet. We will be told later that's what's going on. So, what's he going to say about Judah? Kenny? Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah and for four, I will not revoke the punishment because they have rejected the law of the Lord and have not kept his statute. And notice this. The nations didn't do it in terms of Torah. You just weren't right. You weren't good. But here he's going right smack to Torah. You you rejected the Torah of Yahweh. Keep going. But their lies have led them astray, those after which their fathers walked. So I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. So what I want you to notice, it's for three and four again, right? Mm -hmm. So what's he treating Judah like? A foreign nation. He's given the same standard, same literary device, an oracle against the nations. He's using that to deliver a judgment on Judah. I find that fascinating. That's where you are now, Judah. So then he's going to turn to Israel and he's going to do the same three for three and for four. You are a foreign entity to me now. Do you not understand it? This one's going to be a tad longer. But it's now 10 o'clock. Are we or are we not supposed to be going over to the donut thing? <laughs> Is it so? Our, I thought it was the last. What? Then we'll continue. We'll just continue. So, verse six, Brooke. Says the Lord, for three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not be able to punish them. Because they sell the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. Those who trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth and turn aside the way of the afflicted. A man and his father go into the same girl so that my holy name is profaned. Let's pause. So, what's going on here? Selling fellow Israelites as a slave? Yeah, or at least for debts, right? 
and they're they're abusing the poor. And I, you just don't hear that in the surrounding cultures. This is unique to Israel. No, you're you're trampling the head of the poor. No, and then and is this a comment about sexual ethic? By the way, do you know where we saw this? Indiana Jones, don't you remember? When Sean Connery played his dad, they slept with the same girl. What? Are they meeting over there? Yeah. For, for December. Okay, then we will go join them because we're good teammates. So I'll stop sharing. Matt, we're going to go eat donuts. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. All right. Later, brother. Bye. I've got to stop.